Today, I am going to show you how I made a wood and resin serving tray with artwork made by my third graders. I have another video showing how the kids made these super cute woodland animals on slices of birch wood. So check that out for the beginning of the project. Before I gave the kids the slices of wood to paint on, I wanted to make sure all 15 would fit in the bottom of a tray. The trays I purchased on Amazon came with multiple sizes and I picked the size where they would be nice and snug. I used some Minwax Walnut Gel Stain to stain my cheap trays. I knew from the Amazon reviews that they were not going to stain too well, but I wanted them to look a little rustic. Any place where there was glue, the stain would not cover, and the cheap wood had a lot of striations that the stain could not penetrate. I solved this problem with another one of my trays by just painting a fake kind of wood grain texture on the bottom of it. If I had prepped the trays by sanding or perhaps adding a base coat before staining, I might have had different results. Once the stain dried, I coated the trays in off-brand Mod Podge, also known as Sergeant Art Lamination Glue. I also coated the tops of my students' paintings with the clear coat. Make sure you cover the entire piece of wood with the clear coat. I used the Sargent Art lamination glue to secure the wood slices to the inside of the tray. This wasn't a good idea. Even though I had made sure the wood slices fit before I stained and clear coated the pieces, I was having a heck of a time getting everything to fit once again. I kept having to peel pieces up, push them down, pry pieces back off. It was a mess and it ruined my manicure. Oh yeah, and it made the bottom of the tray very bumpy and gluey textured. The next day, I decided to try my hand at applying a resin coat. I used Envirotex Light Pour On Resin. The Envirotex resin was super easy to use. I had it in my head that I would have to be mixing and stirring powders together, but it was all liquid. I poured equal parts of the resin and hardener into party cups. The directions tell you to mix them into one cup and then stir and scrape for two minutes. Pour them back into the other cup and stir for another minute. I found a box that my wooden tray would fit in and I used that under the wooden tray in case I had leaks or something weird happened. I poured the first coat onto my tray and concentrated on filling the spaces between the wood slices. Once I had used all of the resin up in the cup, I kind of went back, brushed over it with the popsicle stick. Then every five minutes or so, I would go check on it and pop the air bubbles. It said in the directions that your breath would pop them, but I just used the end of a paintbrush. I left the tray on my work table to harden. I was paranoid someone was going to knock it over, put something on it, or somehow let sawdust and glitter loose and ruin the whole thing, but it was fine. 24 hours later, I mixed and stirred and mixed and stirred and applied a second layer of resin. I really wanted the bottom of the tray to be level and thought I could get away with two coats, but no such luck. 24 hours after that, I applied my third layer. I knew this had to be the last layer, so I really worked on making sure the resin was level. I really wanted to take this tray to school with me on Monday and show my third graders, but I had to let the resin cure for 72 hours. Once I was sure it was completely hardened, I gave it a test run. And look at that, all done and ready for the raffle. Thanks for watching.